Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for tuning in to my latest video. The patient in this procedure attended with a blocked left ear and you can see the patient has fully occluding, quite dry, crumbly earwax extending right from the ear canal entrance all the way to the eardrum. The patient is also suffering from otitis externa, which is um, an inflammation or infection of the outer ear canal. In this particular case, the patient's otitis externa is, is just causing her some itchiness and irritation. Um, so I'm just using the Zolma suction probe and I'm trying to detach this plug of wax, dead skin, off the ear canal wall. You can see it's quite dry here at the, at the roof of the ear canal where the suction probe is. You've got some keratin there as well. So the keratin, so dead skin, it acts like a double-sided sticky tape in the ear. Not only does it stick to the ear canal wall once it's, it's dyed and shedded, it can also uh, attach itself to the outer layer of the, of the earwax. And it tries to stop the earwax from being removed in my case. It's playing tug of war against me. So whenever you've got a lot of dead skin keratin, it's always advisable to try and peel that off the canal wall itself, which enables the plug of wax to be immobilized and removed. And you can see the, that layer of dead keratin at the roof of the ear canal has more or less been removed. So I'm just lifting this plug of wax from the base of the ear canal now, just wriggling in it and it's the outer part of this plug anyway has been removed. There is a remaining plug of um, wax which is quite medial, it's up against the eardrum actually and again I'm just loosening this from the posterior canal walls to the back part of the ear canal. And you see there's a few hairs there as well so there is a bit of matted ear wax which is always a bit more difficult to remove. Nonetheless, there we go, that's the second plug. You can see the difference in colour. The second plug of wax that I removed is a lot darker, it's oxidised, which means it's been there for a lot longer. Now, because the patient has got a bit of eczema, so a bit of otitis externa, a bit of psoriasis, dry skin of the outer ear canal, it's going to try and remove this layer of dead skin as much as I can anyway. Um, so I've just attached a fine end and we're just um, on we're quite lateral at the moment near the entrance and the posterior canal wall. Now I'm going um, quite medial against the bony part and I'm just trying to hover over. And you can see I've managed to um, peel a bit of dead skin so this layer of skin I'm going to detach and extract and remove. We're never going to get every little single last bit of dead skin in a case like this and by attempting to do so you're going to try and you're going to cause more trauma for the patient. Um, you're going to lacerate and cut into this very thin layer of skin that coats the bony part of the ear canal. So the skin that lines the inner two thirds of the ear canal, so the bony part, is it's less than 0.1 millimeters in thickness, whereas the skin that lines the outer third of the ear canal, the cartilaginous portion, is about one millimeter in thickness. And if you kind of cut into this skin and abrase the bone or Carl is going to be very uncomfortable for the patient and it can lead to further infection. So you can got some very dry skin at the roof of the ear canal. Again, just using a fine end, just to trying to remove as much as I can. So I advise the patient to avoid water entering the ears. They're going to use some acetic acid over the counter um, and on a regular basis some olive oil spray. So olive oil is slightly acidic and the natural pH of the ear is slightly acidic and the oil can help lubricate um, the skin that lines the ear canal. So they're the two plugs. The one on the left is the, the more medial one near the eardrums. You can see it's darker in colour. The one to the right was the more lateral, uh, fresher layer of skin and wax. I hope you enjoyed that video guys and you're all having a lovely Easter weekend. Thank you. Bye.